So, a good friend of mine sent me a clip on Instagram of the American Skin trailer. And I didn't watch it, but I thought to myself, let me read the description and see what it's about. And as I was looking at it, I had three thoughts. First thought was, America does not need this right now. Like, as volatile as the country is with all the different things that are going on inside our nation, the last thing we need is for them to see how we feel. Second thought was, I can't see this movie coming out without having a ton of controversy. Just tons of controversy. And my last thought, third thought was, maybe it's best if this movie does come out. And maybe it's best if they do see it. So let's look at it and get into why that is. All right, so let's just knock it out the way. Subscribe or follow the page, regardless of where you're watching, depending on where you're watching. Do those things and let's look at this trailer. Driver's license, registration, and insurance, please. Of course. My license is right here. My wallet. It's all right, son. You remember the night in July? Hey, stop. hey, 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 hey! Wait, wait, wait! Put the phone down! Put my phone! It's, 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 it's a phone! It's a cell phone! It's just a cell I'm phone! Right. You knew he was unarmed. Hey, shut the door! And put your hands in the air! Austin, please! He's just a kid! You pointed your gun at him. Get out the car, son. So my thoughts are the same. I do feel like, man, this is going to ruffle some people's feathers when this comes out. I don't know where it's coming out. I saw something flash that said BT Plus. Like, is that a thing? Surely I'm not paying for that. Here's the conundrum that is presented with this type of project. While the people who actually take their time to look at it and put themselves in the shoes of the main characters, they'll identify with it. I uh, don't know if they'll actually enjoy it, but I think that they would connect with the struggle that comes with being African American if they actually watch it and take it in and try to empathize or sympathize or put themselves in the positions of those characters. The problem with that is there's going to be an overwhelming majority that will see the premise that this film is based on something that we see every day and, and without watching it and without try, you know approaching with any type of compassion they're going to take the same position that they've always taken up and no minds will be changed and no hearts will be touched and we will be left in the same situation that we are always left in the majority of people will still look at us as african americans and say I, I don't understand i don't see what's going on i don't see the problem i don't get it you know, the Drew Brees of it all. Just like, do we really need to sit you down and educate you 
there's people that I know personally that are just, I give people credit. I just believe in my heart that you are way too smart to make me believe that you don't get what angers us when this stuff happens. But they still give that line. They still say, I don't get it. I don't, if he would just comply, why did he have to, like in the, in the trailer itself, why did he have to take out a cell phone? Just listen to the officer. Like, I feel, I feel myself getting frustrated. I feel my blood pressure rising. So maybe I need to go ahead and stop talking about it. But I probably will watch this when it comes out. I feel like if this was Nate Parker doing this without Spike Lee's name attached to it, I think it would have been disregarded. Uh, just as his last film, uh, Birth of a Nation, was disregarded because the, the Me Too crowd came in. They took up an old issue with Nate Parker. Then all the critics just, you know, brush his work aside. Now, I will say with Birth of a Nation, it was a slave movie. And as an African-American community, we were tired of slave movies. And we are currently tired of slave movies. See Antebellum. See Harriet. Like, nah, we're good. We don't want to see those things. I didn't watch either nor am I gonna waste my time going back and watching regardless of what kind of YouTube channel I'm running. So I think that's the general consensus. We are tired of seeing us portrayed in that way. So maybe that has something to do with the birth of a nation, but I do know that there was tons of talk about an old incident with Nate Parker. And I think had Spike Lee not be correct, connected to this particular project, I think they would just drag up old stuff again and try to shut Nate Parker down. I hope that doesn't happen here. I feel like Hollywood is too woke right now to let this project come out and not give it the attention it's due. I'm very much interested to see how Hollywood's reaction will be to this. I know Nate Parker has his past and, and they like to drug it up and then toss him to the side, at least recently. So I would like to see how they approach this being an issue throughout 2020. Will you give this thing the attention and credit it's due? I hope this thing sees light i hope that people would try to watch it and, and and put themselves in a situation and and put themselves in the shoes of other other people and then try to understand the reaction of being angry use violence as a means to affect change because one of the lines he said is that we are the only group of people in america that expect to do things peacefully and it's like that does feel very true I don't know how factual it is if I actually sat down and did research, but it does seem like the group of African Americans, you know, that exist in America today are constantly told you should go about things in a peaceful way, whether it's NFL protests or NBA protests or George Floyd protests or regardless, no matter what it is, it's be quiet about it, be nice about it be civilized about it when I don't know if other groups are met with that same expectation. So yeah, I'm starting to feel not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here. Uh, I do trailer reactions, I do movie reviews, I do cologne reviews, I do product reviews, depending on what the product is. Um, again, subscribe if you like it, enjoy yourself, guard your heart, come back and see me.